ring main circuit. Ring main circuit is the circuit connection that's used in the flat. So you can see that the cable are connected like a loop around the house. Why is that? First advantage is when one point is broken, the circuit is still function. And the currents are divided into two halves so they have less the chance of overloading. So you can see that the live wire when it get into our house, the kilowatt hour meter is outside flat and the ring is inside our house. So you can see that we connected the live neutral and earth like the ring in the flat. And how does it connect it to the socket? We will connect the live wire ring in the flat to the socket in this way. Once again, the right side of the socket is live, the left side of the socket is neutral, and the top hole is for the earth. So we connect each socket in this way. So that you should note that the socket is connected to the ring in the flat. So that's why we call it the ring main circuit in that case. But at this moment, you may still wondering what is the meaning of current is divided into two half. Now let's consider this. But supposingly, if we consider the current enter to the ring main, how does it pass to the socket? Now you can see that it can be passed from the left side, but it can also pass from the right side because it's a ring, right? This is the meaning of divide the current into half. Let's see the examples here. You can see that this is an improper connection. Now how does it improper? You can see that this two socket is not connected in parallel. The two sockets are connected in series. So what will happen? Firstly, if we connect the kettle on one socket, socket A, can it work? Do you aware that the circuit is open because the socket B is not connected to anything? So it's not work. How about the second statement? Let's suppose we connected two items here. Can they work at the rate of power? You can see that this time, the potential difference across both is 220, but because they are connected in series, so both of them cannot share the same amount of voltage. Then would the fuse be bound up? Then we have to calculate. But what is the current in this case? Once again, because they are not connected in the proper way, so they are not working in the rate of value, that means we have to first find the resistance first. By P equals to V, R, v squared over R, then we can find the resistance of the kettle. And with the similar way, we can find out the resistance of the oven also. Now, we can find the current by using V equals to I R. So you can see that actually for all the electrical appliances, we can always simplify them as a kind of resistor. Then we can solve different kind of problem.